Uh, my name is Felix Daitoyoko. I'm from New Brunswick, Fredericton. Originally from Tanzania. There's my father, my mother, and my siblings. My five siblings. We moved to Canada, and in, it was in March 2015. It, I was very excited to just, you know, to just leave the refugee camp and and finally have a life again. We moved to Dune Street in 2017, February. Before we moved to Dune Street, we were always hear about fights because we had friends that lived in Dune Street for for a couple of years. So they would always tell us stories, you know. But me not knowing what it is, uh, also being young. Uh, also being new to, to Canada, we, we didn't think too much of it. October th 2017, I was coming back from, from my sister's house and then I saw two men, two men coming out, running after my car. And me not knowing what it is, I thought maybe they were kids because they had masks on, so I didn't know. And these guys, they started throwing eggs, uh, sticks, they also had baseball bats calling me the N word, we're gonna the N word and, and saying he, he, they're gonna kill us, we're gonna make sure they kill all black people in Canada or they send them back to Africa and stuff like that. I kept running back and forth about 30 minutes and I was on the phone with the police for 30 minutes and my my neighbor came outside to say to, to stop them and they ran they ran after him. On that day the, the cops came. They say they just told us go back in your house. We we fix things up, and we saw the people who were fighting us. They are they are, they are walking away, and it was like, if you're not fixing this today, what about tomorrow if they come back? You think they won't do even more than than that to harm us? The police um, kept claiming that they don't know who the guys are, but two days later, they moved the family out of Dune Street. this specific invention, uh, investigation without more details, but it sounds like that there was an intervention done. Not that displacement's always the answer, but sometimes that is a tool that is used in a, in a small community, if we're calling Dune Street area a community. No. They don't come to check? No, never. To my home or my children? No. Sometimes I like uh, find like in my mailbox like a card for invite to go for a dinner turkey or barbecue or something like that, but because I don't understand, so <laughs> uh, I never, I don't go. Yes, when I go with my son, with him, to play in the ground, some children, they do that. I don't uh, understand everything, but my son and my daughter, they translate it for me, what they say. They say bad words. Uh, they told us sometimes they're going to send us to the country, or... They say like, uh, they want to send us back to our countries, they say bad words. And what do you respond to that? I would just tell them to stop or just go back home. Or ignore them. How does that make you feel? Bad. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. Do you like living in this area? Uh, If I find a good area down here, I will move. The government used to have this uh, person that was in charge of the community and was always there. There were programs, like I say, for children, were programs for, for adults, 
and they were uh, always uh, paying attention to how the program was running, who was involved, and try to encourage people to be involved with the programs. Unfortunately, it's too. I think that 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 had been changed. I think it, that, that community uh, um, facilitator that they used to have that that position disappeared from MB Housing. They don't have that anymore. They just have somebody that that go to the to the houses and check the maintenance and all those things. There used to be a lot, and they would help with get us get us funding and stuff like that. And then when we lost that position, was taken away from social development. Things gradually fell less and less and less. I moved here in two thousand and four. It's been quite a few, at least probably probably ten years at least probably since we've had somebody. But I think it does make a difference. At that particular position, my understanding was repurposed into a broader program officer, which still can assist uh, the partners and the uh, residential uh, association, the uh, tenant association, to uh, help with some of those programs. Okay. So now what types of programs do you guys have available for tenants? Nothing. We don't have anything. I had been here uh, because of my job that there are a lot of issues now and, and terrible issues that, that are consistent. Like they decide that they don't want one family there, a group of kids or whatever, and they will go through those families and, till, and they do really things that you probably don't want to hear the stories about what they had been doing now. Yeah. Are these attacks, like racist attacks? Yes, yes. Mostly those are racist attacks, yes. If those programs to promote, to help, to support are not in place, the people now are stuck there. If the people are not integrated and the people have nothing to do and the people have no support, then what the people are going to do? Brunswick, you know, New Brunswick is a great place, it's a beautiful place. I just wish really something could change and really care about people and not protect criminals, you know, because when, sorry, I get emotional sometimes when, I, when I'm thinking about it. Even even my, my white friends, when that happened, they would just come to me and say, I'm sorry, I know it would have been much different if it was a white person. Uh, getting attacked, it was. It would have been much different. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a hard, uh, I'm gonna make a hard decision. Come to, to Ontario right now. I'm just working and uh, and trying to build, uh, to find an, a safe neighborhood for my family, to eventually move to.